<laughs> and so parenting in an apocalypse, it's it's not the same way that we would do it, you know. Tony, when you when you live long enough, all kinds of strange things happen. <laughs> You're very right in saying that the Greek heroes were the original superheroes. In part because of the hopeful nature of Gene's vision, but also because of its message of diversity and inclusion. Byte is a new series here on Sci-Fi Talk and the Sci-Fi Talk Archive podcast. It's either full interviews or a comment or question from past interviews. Time-wise, it's about one to four minutes long on an average. Dr. Amir Val Baker, a research scientist, talks about time travel. Is time travel really possible? Well, mathematically speaking, it is. It, it is possible to travel back in time according to the equations of general relativity. Whether this is actual, actually possible is another thing. The feasibility of it, of course, whether you could make a machine that could actually do that and whether you would survive such time travel. Something that definitely needs to be looked into and, and no one has a real answer to that at the moment. Can you only go... Backward and not forward in theory? I'm actually going forward in time at this moment. <laughs> I'm walking <laughs> forward in time. Um, no, well, well, yeah, we all are, aren't we? Yeah, uh, that's something that people will take for granted. But um, it's the speed that you do it. But going back in time is the thing that most people talk about. And again, that is, that hmm. is feasible mathematically. But whether it's possible in reality is another thing. If a person goes back, just the act of going back... Isn't that kind of changing the timeline anyway? Yes, that, that's um, referred to as the grandfather paradox. And this is the, one of the things that people discuss. And um, Stephen Hawking basically said that time travel was not possible based on this paradox. He was saying that the universe wouldn't allow us to create a time travel machine because it would mm -hmm. violate causality. So. So I don't know if you've have heard of the grandfather paradox. Basically, if you go back in time and kill your grandfather, would you exist to have gone back in time in the first place to have killed him? It's like a paradox. So if you kill him, then you don't exist. So then you didn't kill him. So, um, yeah, so this is something that um, I can never pronounce his name properly. And he was he was um, mentioned in the uh, the Avengers movie, the Deutsch proposition. He supports the many worlds theorem, um, which is basically saying that there's infinite parallel worlds existing in our universe. So every decision that we make in this universe, we also make another decision in another universe. So basically, all possibilities that could ex that could happen do exist. And David Deutsch goes on to say that. Um, these parallel universes actually branch off. So then this um, nullifies the grandfather paradox because he, he says if you go back in time and, and killed your grandfather, then that would be a different timeline that would branch off. So it wouldn't actually affect the timeline that you are in. But that, that's just one theory. Ah, comments or questions are welcome at sci-fi talk at AOL.com. For Byte, this is Tony Talata. <laughs>